Hello family, and today is set aside to pray for all that is believing God for the fruit of the womb. So whether you're a woman, believing God for the fruit of the womb, or you're a man, and standing and praying for your wife to be pregnant like Isaac did, Isaac stood and prayed to God for his wife to be pregnant. And God answered him, and his wife Rebecca became pregnant. And that will be somebody's portion today. For the sacrifice you have made, the Lord will come through for you today. And you will soon be called father and mother of children. I don't care what age you are. And I don't care about the doctor's reports concerning your fruitfulness in the area of having children. All I know is that God is more than able to make you mother and father of children. If God did it for Abraham and Sarah, he will do it for you. I know the God that I serve, the one that called me to serve him, the one that called me to represent him as his oracle. And I'm going to speak into your life today for you to be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wipe your tears away. And I want you to prepare your mind and receive from God today. You are just at the right place at the right time. All you need to do right now is to connect fully with your faith. Through every prayer point that will be raised here today. And before we go into the prayer points, I will like you to pick your baby's gender and the name that you want your baby to answer. And as we be praying, you'll be calling the name and the gender of your baby and call forth your baby into your life, into your family, because it is done already in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now first, let's begin to give thanks to God. For a day like this in your life, a day to remember, a day of signs and wonders in your life and in your family. Give thanks to God for making you fruitful. A day that God has made for you to be called father and mother of many. Give thanks to God for giving you a new song. Give thanks to God for your Samuel that has come forth in your family and in your life. Give thanks to God for making your joy to be full. Father, receive our thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, I will want you to repeat every prayer point I will raise with your mouth so that those words will go out like the two-edged sword and pierce through every obstacle, every evil altar that says no to your fruitfulness and pierce through every barrier, every stumbling block on the way of your fruitfulness. The words of your mouth will destroy every evil altar, rest against your fruitfulness in the area of having children as God had promised you. Now, as you pray these prayers, I want you to be angry in your spirit today. Being angry in the spirit is not about shouting when you're praying. You can pray a silent prayer, but your spirit is really angry and that spiritual anger will destroy every negative things in your life today. And you become fruitful and have children. Now, Psalms 127 and Psalms 113 are where we are going to get our strength from to back up our prayers today. Now, let's start with Psalms 127. And it says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early. And to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gates. This is God's word. And may God's word have fulfillment in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, let's begin to pray according to the word of God, according to God's promises in Psalms 1 to 7, that children have the heritage of the Lord. Now, open your mouth and say, Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be divine intervention in my life by your mercy. And in my family, as you bring forth my baby, so mention the baby's name here that you've picked already. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, in the name of Jesus, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. My age will never be a barrier for me to carry my children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The doctor's report will never stop me from carrying my children. I believe in the report of the Lord. I therefore cancel every negative report from the doctors over my conception in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, give me a reason to smile and be joyful again in my marriage as you bring forth my Samuel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, dear Lord, every tongue that says over their dead body, I will not carry my children. Let it be so unto them, because surely I will carry my children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to my womb right now to receive divine visitation and bring forth fruit. Because the hour has come for my family to receive divine restoration and multiplication and fruitfulness. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Right now, I speak to my womb to hear the voice of the Lord and receive the reward of the Lord into my life and into my family. According to his word in Psalms 1 to 7, verse 3. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's see what Psalms 113, verse 9 says. It reads, He make the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. And I say, Hallelujah. And a big Amen to that. Dear Lord, everyone that says, the cry of a baby will not be heard in my house. Put them to shame today. Give them the greatest disappointment in their lives. Like you promised me in Psalms 113. That you give me a home, making me a joyous mother of children. And let there be cries of babies in my house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, any device that the wicked people are using to monitor the joy of my life and that of my family. Father Lord, you are the only one to watch over the fruit of my womb and keep the fruit of my womb till the day of delivery. So every other power trying to watch the fruit of my womb, let them watch in vain, like you've said it in your word in Psalms 1 to 7. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dear Lord, I know the thoughts that you have for me. It is not for me to be barren, but to be fruitful and be a mother of many children. For this reason, dear Lord, open up my womb to carry my children and be a happy mother. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Dear Lord, every demonic altar that has been causing miscarriages in my life, today I nullify them, I scatter them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commanded it not? According to your word, O Lord, every tongue that is confessing death, fear over my life during conception, I declare them useless over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I declare your peace over my womb during my time of conception. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me share this story with you. True life story that I saw with my eyes. There was this woman that lived in a certain place. And she had good neighbors. And these neighbors, they all had children except her. One of them celebrated her son's birthday. And she invited every other woman that was around that vicinity. But she never invited this other one that had no child. And all of them were in good times. They were like good neighbors and somehow friends. They all had their phones. After the party, one of them went to this very woman they never invited. And she asked her, I was there. She asked her, were you not invited? She said no. And then she started laughing. She started laughing at her. Seriously. She made jest of her because she didn't have a child. That will never be your portion because God is going to surprise your enemies that wants to laugh at you. Pray and say, Dear Lord, the same way you remembered Rachel and you hearkened unto her cry and you opened up her womb. Father Lord, remember me today and open up my womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, 
childlessness can be caused sometimes by mistakes that we made in the past or when we were young and now that we are married those things are affecting us even sometimes we hurt people in the past and the lead causes on us even without us knowing and these things begin to have effect in our lives and causing us not to be fruitful in the area of having children now pray and say god in any way in the past that i offended anyone without knowing and these people or this person led causes on me that has caused me to be barren today please dear lord have mercy on me and open up my womb and make me fruitful today now listen to this i once saw a video in my country about this young couple that were getting married during their wedding reception as they were dancing people were busy spraying the money as our tradition is in africa and there was this woman that was also pretending to be spraying the money the crowd was much i mean and the couple they could not sense what was going on that woman picked money and was using that money to rob the lady's tummy and doing some incantation without her knowing even the husband did not notice it because there were lots of people there dancing with them spraying the money but that particular woman was busy releasing evil weights upon that lady's womb without her knowing and her evil actions were showing that she was causing the womb of that young lady and this is why it is important to always pray and i want you to pray right now and say god anyone during my wedding that had laid curses and made evil incantation over my life in the area of having children Father, today, nullify those evil incantations and make them useless and make them powerless in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, before we take the next prayer point, I want you to understand that anxiety and worries can also prolong the time needed to achieve pregnancy. So why are you worrying yourself? Why are you being so anxious about getting pregnant? You are not God. God has a way of doing his own thing at his own time. Please stop being anxious and stop worrying about anything. For God is the one taking care of you. Instead of you to start developing that spirit of worrying and being anxious about getting pregnant, why not use that time, that energy to praise God, to worship him and see him come through for you? Now you are going to pray and say, Lord, take away every spirit of anxiety and worries. That is delaying my pregnancy. That is delaying your blessings in my life. And give me the spirit of joy and peace that will help me to stay calm and experience the manifestation of your powers in my life. Amen. Now it's time for you to also pray for your husband and say, God, anything like diseases, sicknesses, causes, incantation in the life of my husband that is causing him not to be fruitful as a man and being not able to produce children with me. Father Lord, today destroy and nullify those things in his body. Cleanse his blood and make him productive as a man. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now there is a sister that sent me a message that she wants me to pray for her to be able to be pregnant and have a joyful marriage. Now, I want to pray for you if you are listening to this message. I don't care what you faced in the past that made you not to have children. For the fact that you believe in me as a servant of God, whatever gender of child you're looking for or how many children you're looking for, by the reason of this prayer today, you will conceive and have children as many as you want. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Pick the names of your children. Pick the genders of the children that you want, and it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And to everyone under the sound of my voice today, please do not forget to testify to the goodness of God in your life as your babies come through for you. Because your testimony will also encourage someone else to have faith in God. God bless you. And more prayer requests are welcome, so do not hesitate to drop yours. And God will meet you at that point of your need. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. I love you. But remember, 
God loves you more. Subscribe and stay connected. Bye for now.